Thanks very much for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed that clip, all you got to do is tap that link and you can watch the full show. There's going to be lots of Valentine's cookie talk, apple pie talk, and, of course, good old apple juice and water. Thanks very much. And get those winners. So let's move on to the second game. We're going to move on to another game in the big sky, and that's going to be Montana State against Eastern Washington. So in this game against the other day, this was a high-scoring game. And I think that when you look at this game and this line, we're seeing, we're seeing an indication to that. This line opened at minus four for Eastern Washington and 152. And we've seen that line come down to three or three and a half. And we've seen the total come down to anywhere from 151 and a half down to 150. I personally think that it's going to be hard for both these teams to lock each other down defensively. With both of these teams, they both shoot the ball well regularly. And the difference in the last game was the fact that Eastern Washington shot 53% and Montana State shot 37%. Another thing with that game was the fact that Jacob Davison didn't play and Michael Meadows really had to step into that role and did a very good job. But can you really count on getting another 20 points from him in this game? I still think that there's lots of overs that both these teams have been involved with at this number, and they've been numbers that have gone over by margin. And when I see a four-point or five-point over margin, that's something that I take note of. I think that with both these teams, they score a lot of free throws. They get to the free throw line often. They're very aggressive with their ball handling. I think that with – specifically Eastern Washington's ability to get on the offensive glass, and then Jabril Bellow's ability to get on the offensive glass. I think that there's going to be extra scoring opportunities, second chance opportunities, and free throw line trips because of fouling in those situations. Listen, Eastern Washington has showed themselves to be a very capable and stout road team. They've done it for your bankroll also. They tested themselves early in the season. And I think that with Montana State, this is just a team that has really hit the skids with an upper quality of competition. Listen, the Bobcats fell in consecutive games to Weber State. That was the end of a seven game winning streak and their six game un their six game undefeated streak in big sky play i think that even though they were able to lead and then cough up that lead they were they weren't able to come back the next day and bring it they still have a ton of growth and even danny prinkle says that i don't think that they're as close as where they can be as a team but with covid you know it's just affected the development of players and team continuity so much i think that for montana state this game is critical but I think that the next four weeks are going to be even more critical. They got to keep on getting better and they got to keep on getting better, even though they're coming off losses. I expect this game definitely to be another Eastern Washington win, whether Davison plays or not. I just think that when you look at Jabril Bello, there are the Grove brothers and they can go up against him. And then when Amin Adamu, him against Kim Aiken really nullifies them. So it's really going to come down to, in my opinion, what you get out of your guards. And with Robertson and Meadows, I think that they're going to be able to give you a better performance than Xavier Bishop. I think that both teams score more in the second half, usually seven or eight points more. I think that's going to help us. And with the way that both these teams shoot the three, 30 free throw makes combined in conference, aided by good ball distribution, eight out of 10 overs for Eastern Washington in conference. This is a team that's built to win on the road, and they're built to go over while doing so. I'm going to take that over 150, which is at BetMGM, and I'm going to take – and I'm going to take Eastern Washington again. I think that getting three is still a good number. I do see a three at minus 105 uh, at bet365. So I'm going to take that. So um, this is just a, a, a team that I think that is on a different level. Montana State did good against weaker competition. And I think that they're going to feel the pain of that 
uh, in this game. I think that it is an early start, so you do worry about this game starting slow. But even if they have a slow scoring first four minutes, I still expect with late game foul shooting uh, for this game to find its way over. So I'm getting the, the best of the number on the U.S. legal markets right now, and I'm pretty happy about it. So uh, we'll move on. I'm just going to write these down. So for the tweet with the picks, 